Hey, hello everybody, and we just <laughs> just ended the last recording. Welcome to Rasparau. There's the jam. Goodbye. I need to heal after fighting literally Rayquaza. God, that was bullshit. <laughs> but awesome. But bullshit. The worst part is I called that too. I was just like, I should send in, uh, I should switch it so that Joker 3 Pro is in immediately in order to, in case there is something really scary. And then I was just like, nah, we got this. No special mark here. I don't know where special marts are in this game. Hey. <sighs> free stuff? No. Hello, free stuff? No. Hello, free stuff? No. <laughs> Goal fight some people. Get some free experience. Cut Man's right here. He'll give us cut if you couldn't tell from his name, the Cut Man. Thank you. He's obsessed with cutting things. I like to cut trees down. I cut down trees where I heels a just like my dear papa. Trainer school. I believe this is the place that has a Pokemon trade. No. So there is a person you can trade in here uh, that will actually get you the Pokemon you need to beat the gym laner. I think it's this house right here. It'll give you like a Makuhita, I believe, and vanilla. A Kangaskhan for a Zapdos? Uh, absolutely. But I don't have a Kangaskhan. I hope we do. Because I wouldn't mind me a Zip Zap Zibbity Bop Dose. Zip Zap Zibbity Bop Dose. <laughs> Yo, we got ourselves a Yeet Ball, super powerful. We're guaranteed to catch something we need. Uh, what's this Pokemon outline? But I don't know what Pokemon that is from that outline. It's not good enough. All right. Anyway, let's start clearing out. Time-saving tunnel nearing completion. All right, let's fight this nerd then. I Pokemon and I rule. What's ironic is this is where we actually got ourselves a shiny Mewtwo in my completely unfair shiny odds uh, randomized stream of this game like two three years ago <laughs> he's green god he still does a lot of damage to us and it's freaking Mewtwo oh no I can't get crits on you whatever will I do dragon rage how much does a crit dragon rage do 40 how much does dragon rage do 40 Would be useful to get rid of anybody who has an actual ability we don't like. Knitter and females. Hmm. 
The Whirling Fool. It has Poison Sting, which, I mean, it's not the worst, but we don't really have anything to do to a Nidoran on Spooky just yet, so that's why we're not using it. I, I need a good move or two on it. Right now, all we have is Confuse Ray and Astonish. That's gonna do nothing. Pretty sure you're technically Poisson, so... I'm just gonna pound it. So, yeah. With us getting the EXP share significantly sooner than I expected, that actually allows us to go and, um, I might not have to grind. Like, just fighting everybody here should get us as far as we need. Alright. Now. Let us see what our encounter is. You've been asking for it. You've wanted some power and a power nickname. Here you go. Frybell. Ah! Did not expect a Frybell here. That's what we would have had if our you a question and black two didn't immediately die what do you got immunity can't be poisson day eh? all right goodbye Catilli. You were fun while you had it. Wait, did it have Dragon Rage? I was 100% not paying attention. Yep, it did! So why is it on our team? Well, it's better than Katilli in the fact that it doesn't have Defeatist. It's a second round of Dragon Rages. And just having a backup in case the unthinkable thinks itself to happen. My bug Pokemon are tough! Cool. My dragon Pokemon are tougher. It's Chespin! Puss on Guayas! Anyway. Yeah, I know th this is actually going significantly slower than I wanted at the beginning, but that's because we need the levels, we need to fight the trainers. Like, eventually we're gonna get to the point where we don't have to or want to fight trainers, and we're just gonna go But we don't have that yet. So while we wait, we're just going to be fighting things. And gaining power. Like, I would say right now there is a ton of potential in our team. Pump Kaboo, uh, Slowpoke, Muck, Exploud, <laughs> a freaking Haxorus in waiting, and a Garchomp in waiting. Like, that's a Xerneas. That's scary. What's with all these legendaries? Stop it! Swear to God, if you use Geomancy followed by anything else, 
I'm gonna cry. <gasps> You're fairy, I forgot! No, 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 no. I could have fucked myself right there. I don't know Gen 6. I bet you were all like screaming at me like, No, don't send it to Dragon. I don't even have a poison move. Best I can do is hit him with a poison gas ace. Oh, God. Oh, wonderful. Ingraining itself. Nyah. We're in trouble. <laughs> We're in danger. No, between the sandstorm and... No, the poison itself takes it lower. So, that's good at least. Now we need to drop its accuracy. Like a 3,000%. To 7 plus... Two, three from that. Okay. So ten damage per turn. Okay, we can handle that. No, yeah. Xernia should die in two turns. We could die in two turns as well. Oh, we got the flinch. Let's go. All right, we win against Xernius. Oh my god, this is stressful. Sludge, yes, please, give me something. That's a Poisson move, would have been helpful in the last battle. Ugh. Mm -hmm. No. Perfection. Flygon. I actually wanted to switch that, but... Ew. Alright. Come on, Mr. Pro. Simple as simple can be. Perfect. <laughs> I lost. I thought I had you. No, you didn't, kid. You thought nothing of the sword. All right, let us let us go uh, recover from that. <laughs> <sighs> oh my God! I need to learn my typings better. And by learning my typings, I mean I need to learn what these Pokemon typings are, because it is getting us in trouble. Wait, I thought I was on the right side. We were on the left. Is what it is, what it is, what it is, is. I'm gonna save. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That is also a fairy. I do know that one because I don't like that Pokemon. <laughs> Instant yeet out of there. Easy as freaking pie. Yeah, not just pie, but freaking pie. Could have had a Quilava. 
I mean, I like Frybo, but Lava dudes would have been hype. Would have been fun. Have we run a Typhlosion yet? I don't think we have. What's your favorite fire starter? Since we're talking about Quilava right here. And now Charizard on the screen. Mega Charizard on the screen. Jesus. You would lower my accuracy. Doesn't matter though. Nerd. Honestly, I don't like that version of the Mega Charizard. I like the other one, and I don't remember which one's which. Yeah, what's your favorite uh, fire starter? Um, I'd have to think on mine, so I'll let you guys know in the comments what my favorite one is. But I'm curious what you guys like, fire starter-wise. Obviously, Charizard is the classic. Um, Typhlosions, you know kind of, unfortunately, gets overshadowed. Um... You can tell I'm a little out of it because I can't even remember the rest of the fire starters. <laughs> Starter. Pokemon. Yeah! Dun 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 dun. Okay. So yeah. Charizard, Typhlosion, uh, Combuskin, um, on. Infernape. Um, then there's Embor. There is Delphox. There is... Oh, shit. Litten's fully evolved form and Scorbunny's fully evolved form. I feel like by the end, everyone hates the firefighting combos. So nobody cares about Scorbunny and Litten. I think there's a poly wiggle in here. Oh, boo doo. A blue skid doo, that's a boo doo. I mean, not horrible. It evolves into a Roserade. But, like, do we want it? I don't know. It gives us coverage. You know, we have nothing to take out water types. Again, I should add. So, I think I'll have to consider it. Oops, I forgot to nickname it. Can't use it anyway. I'm just so used to mashing to no. What else could we have gotten here? Poliwiggle, obviously. Like, this is just the chance to grind. Oh. Oh. I'm all over the place, apparently. So yes, I have to find the name raider now. I think they are in Goldenrod? Not Goldenrod. Mawile? New Mawville? Actually, at this point, it's new, new Mauville. <laughs> I actually expected a little bit more of a resistance getting here. <sighs> Am I confident enough to take on the gym? We got 10 minutes. Do it! 
Okay. You heard the people. They said do it. No, Funky, that was you saying it. No, it wasn't me. People wanted it, so they said do it. I heard. <laughs> Hello, Quilova. That awkward moment where I already forget what I said in the episode about what I was going to name the episode. Hmm. That's awkward. Last episode. Oh well, I'll figure it out, maybe. We'll see. I know when I said it, so I can easily find it again. I can guess what it is, but it's not exactly what I had said, so who really freaking knows what's gonna happen, so whatever. All right, Rustboro Gym, here we go. I mean, she shouldn't have that high of Pokemon. I hope. Three trainers too. Hello, you must be a new challenger. I am Roxanne. Please fight me. Okay. Again, we could avoid the trainers if we wanted. Don't take us lightly. Okay. Ah! Gasm! No! Man! They angry with me. God. A mega T tar, that's horrifying. I mean, ours was a powerhouse. So I wasn't going to take him lightly. Yes, please learn confusion. Uh, goodbye, tackle. Spooky. Sawsbuck, Sawsbuck, you are a Grosbuck. Yeah. I'll let Toxin take care of it. I knew it had imposter. And yet I still fell for it. Why did I just try to poison gas it? I'm an idiot. Take it, bitch. Die, bitch. Die, a bitchies. All right, I don't think we're gonna beat the uh, gym today. <laughs> I don't have time to finish. So I think we'll take care of the gym leader, tra gym trainers. And then we'll call it there. Though with my luck, we're going to end up finding somebody who... Uh, <laughs> oh, man. 65, 85. Yeah. We're just going to have to take the chance, you know. We did some power on Toxin, so... You were too good for me. I know. You're bad, kid. Can't be me, you won't stand a chance against rocks, I am. Yeah, I know. Your wind form. Got it. Ain't 
And the Poisson! And the Flinch! Let's freaking go. This stench ability is great on Toxin. Got this Toxin locked down. Well, you're great. Thank you, kid. This is perfect for us, perfect for us, it's perfect for us, yes, it is perfect for us, it is so perfect for us, oh yes. Cloud 9, weather effects disappeared. Mud bomb! The nice thing about having Toxin here, like, fully evolved, is that it is a tank. Between Toxin and Simon, we've got some good tanks on the field. To just eat up anything we need to be protected from. So, that is wonderful news for us. And right here is where I'm going to have to end it. Sorry about that. It's a couple minutes early, but... I mean, I mean, with our luck, the gym leader was either going to take a quick snap of the fingers or was going to be a long, drawn-out battle. So, yeah, that's unfortunate. But it is what it is what it is. We will come back on Friday with some more exciting things. So, anyway, thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And... Until the next time, everybody. Stay funker, people.